Okay, in this video, I'll give you instructions on how to put Slim Bean ROM 442 onto your Samsung Galaxy Exhibit 4G. Yes, it is, because if it looks like that, that's what it is. Okay. First thing you need is a custom clockwork mod. Or a touch based clockwork mod. Either one will do fine. I will give you the links to the first one. Go ahead and download this. Not in. It's never this download, okay? It's, it's this one right here. This is the first link I will give you. Go ahead and download that. As you can see, it's downloading right now. Now for your touch one, whatever which one you prefer, uh, it's up to you. It really doesn't matter. Once touched, means you, means you could uh, use the touch screen to uh, use the recovery. So here's the second one. Downloads right here. Bam. Two are downloading. Okay, third. You need the ROM and the GApps itself, which I'll give you the link. It is on xdadevelopers.com. This is the third link. And you once you get to the link, you'll scroll down here to downloads. Download this uh, 42113. Bam, there it goes. And to the same page, download this one, Slim ROMs. Click on that. If you get directed to a page uh, like this, don't be worried. Just scroll down here to downloads. Hit that. Go to add ons after. Go to upgrades. And there is your G apps, top one. Scroll down. There it is, right there. The download should look like that. It's never this stuff over here. It's right here. Hit the download. Now I got four downloading. Okay. Next, what you need to do is install your Clockwork Base Recovery. Which, if you don't know how, uh, that was my girlfriend in the picture, but uh, if you don't know how, you could use, I mean, watch another YouTube video. I'm really not going to get into that right now. Now, once your downloads are done, they will show up right here in your downloads folder. Plug your phone in with the USB cable okay and you need to you need to move these to your root of your SD card now that means is not your phone memory your SD card memory okay plug that in right there now you should get something that looks like that or a pop-up whatever open that go to this is the one you need it in right here, SD card. Not internal, SD card. Now get your downloads, clockwork mod, move it to the root of your SD card. I already have one in there. So just move it in there and perform a clockwork mod update. Also put your other uh, downloads in the SD card in the root of it. I already have done that. So this is just a basic video of showing you how. Next, in your phone. Power off. Yours is different, I know that. But it's still the same uh, 
thing that you need to do. Power off, blah, 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 blah. If it doesn't work, uh, go to YouTube videos and uh, look up how to install Clockwork Mod. You could also do that. Once you're done, you can do this, or it should work. Hold your power button. Wait, before you hold it, get your power button, your up button. Press them together at the same time. Once the Samsung screen appears, hold them for a couple more seconds and then let them go. Now it should look like this or something different. My clockwork mod is already installed. Okay. But what you will do is you will go down to install from zip, hit home button, choose zip from external. Bam. And here you go are the ones that you downloaded. Um, this is the ROM, the Slim Ancora. That's the Slim G apps. And right there, that CM6012, uh, T679 uh, zip is your clockwork mod. What you're going to want to do is flash that, do a reboot. Then go back to this screen. You flash your ROM, you flash your G apps. Well, before you flash, hold on, hold on, my man. Before you flash your ROM, do a uh, go to wipes, uh, wipe your ROM, wipe your catch, wipe this one, and wipe your catch in Delvic. Okay. Don't mess with data. You don't really have to. Go back. Choose zip from external. And then do your uh, your ROM and your G apps. Okay? This is after you flash your custom clockwork mod recovery. And you should have a boot up screen that looks like this. After you reboot, after you're done, go to reboot. Go to back, back. And then you should have a thing that says reboot now. Reboot it. It's very windy where I'm at. Yes. And this will pop up. Yours will probably take at least maybe five minutes, maybe three minutes. But it depends. But let this load for at least. If it doesn't load after five minutes, let it do it a little, like five more minutes. And then if not, then you've either messed up or did something, or you didn't wipe or just something. But I will give you the links to the threads, the forums, so you can pretty much uh, browse it, look for it on there. I know a lot of you've been wanting me to, you know tell you how and stuff it's kind of not the easiest thing but it's pretty simple once you get used to it once you got your clockwork mod and other stuff working uh, it's pretty easy after and you can flash other ROMs I mean there's other builds out I keep pressing my thumb on there open that up and BAM yours won't look like this yours will look like the stock uh, jelly bean in my first video this is my own uh, custom uh, background my apps that I use I just got a very simple setup because you know my stuff and that's it any questions uh, hit me up on YouTube or my Gmail uh, also I'll give you the links for your clockwork mod your recoveries all that so you should pretty much get the know-how of how to do this uh, if not I mean I'll help you uh, when I have time other than that uh, thank you guys oh and um, this ROM comes from Tim1928 at XDA developers so give him a shout out give him a thank you and a like on that and I'll see you guys later.